Hey guys, I'm Brooks. And I'm Mandy. So we're husband and wife entrepreneurs, and we believe that life and business are a giant adventure, and we want to live it with you guys. So let's get to it. All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to the podcast. It's Brooks and Mandy. And Mandy. And so we're relaxing here at home. We got our dog that's having a nice nap on the couch over there. He's snoring. So if you hear him, anyways, that's what that that's what that <laughs> that's what that is in the background. So, hey, look. So we wanted to talk to you guys about working with your spouse so in business together we just want to be real and authentic and Mandy and I kind of just before we hit record we kind of went over a few thoughts and notes and I was like man this is this is a really good therapy for us to actually sit down and and talk about this I I know just to give everyone um feedback or thoughts like I know that our overarching response I know is like we enjoy being in business together and I think we make a good team so I'll go ahead and lead with that and say that but this would be really good to kind of talk through some of this stuff so if you out there, either A, you already work with your spouse. I mean, we'd love for you to like give us feedback and and your thoughts on like things that you guys do. And we could probably learn from you guys. You know, this is a this is a two way street. And then on the second hand, I'd say if you're thinking of going into business with your spouse or working with your spouse, then um, you know, you may just wanna just listen, just soak this in, kinda take some notes of what kind of me and Mandy have, have gone through and what we go through and kinda how we operate and we'll just kinda just kinda talk it through. Yeah. So, what do you think? Sounds great. All right, cool. Let's do it. So I, I thought what we do first, Mandy, is just kinda first, just kinda go through like some of the businesses that we've started and how we've you know, just how we've worked together just in general. So kinda like an overview of that. And then, you know, if we just if we just dive in and, and make notes as we go, I mean, that's perfectly fine. But like, so we, our story's funny because we actually started a business together before we got married. Right. Right. Forefront right. real estate. Like, so we started a brokerage together. Well, you could actually even backtrack before that. Okay. Before whenever you had just come back to the States. And you had just gotten into real estate. Mm-hmm. I had my real estate license, and you were giving me leads. Totally true. So okay, so yeah, we, yeah, we were yeah. working together in that capacity for the first six months. That Good we knew point. Each other. Yeah. Business relationship started there. Actually, that's a great point. So I was giving you, yep, providing you real estate leads, and then um, we later went to the same brokerage together. Right. I ended up getting a real estate license right. myself. Uh, we went to a brokerage. So if you have a real estate license, you have to hold it with a broker. And Mandy and I worked uh, with the same broker, the brokerage. Mm-hmm. While there, we made the decision, hey, like we could do this. Yeah. <laughs> This is not hard. This is not, we, we could totally handle this. What's the difference other than like, you know, we're just, we form our own, our co- you know, form a company and the company has a license. And so we did that. Um, which I, like looking back, I, I love the trajectory that I've been on in my, like if I'm being real, I mean, I, I think it's been a really cool trajectory and I learned a lot. Um, I think that was a great experience. We still, I mean, we still own that company today. Like the entity- right. We own it today, and this is like six years later or something? Is that? It's almost 10. Okay, 10 years. Yeah. So, note to anyone listening, I am not good at dates. I throw out stuff, and then Mandy is my incredible calendar that can like really get me more accurate within. I, I'm usually off by a couple of years, yeah. so Mandy, Mandy always corrects me. So, yeah, so that entity still exists today, and we do um, now like investment type property I guess is kind of the the best way to say it but in in the entity but that was our real estate brokerage that we started together and um so what was your I mean like what's your take like how do you think we we've worked together in that business um like what I feel like in real estate the the difference with real estate is you're very self-motivated in real estate and we had a brokerage but we didn't have any agents underneath us Mm -hmm. and so there wasn't any managing of other people we were we were literally just managing ourselves and Brooks was working with a couple of you know investors and I was doing you know property man or property evaluations for banks so we we really didn't have to divide labor on that business too much because he kind of did his thing and I kind of did mine so um that was probably not the best 
example of how we can how we work together we did have a business together but we didn't have to come together to to manage anyone else do you know what that's I mean? a good so, point yeah. but i mean but but being in business together and then managing of others like other yeah. people that's a, those are to me those right. are different topics like, it's a different conversation so while we had different jobs i mean you still have functions of a business that someone has to do true, right so true. marketing you have bookkeeping you have uh you know tax you have i mean there's just i mean you know figuring out the division of labor i mean even though we kind of did that um i would just say and you know and the the not not pivot but we adjusted strategies and stuff over the years through that company and i i guess because we're not thinking of we can't think of negative examples or really great examples positive examples i mean i would say it's like it it worked out but anyways so so that entity still goes we'll, we'll go ahead and move to the next one just because we have a couple of examples right so there's another um a company we bought from friends called bottega collection bottega bottega so a women's clothing boutique um, clearly everyone out there is thinking like, oh, okay, that's obviously it's your wife's business. Um, not at all. Yeah. Which I'd say like, I, I would say looking. And so now, so disclosure, we don't own the business anymore. We have like, we've sold the business and we had a fashion truck and we sold that fashion truck. Um, and so we can now look backwards on this business. Right. And say like, oh, okay, like looking back, you know, how do we work together and all that. And so... Um, it was interesting. Like you involved me, so you know one of my strengths, I would say, is kind of you know marketing and some online stuff. Um, and you involved me in that aspect when we mm -hmm. decided. Did we? Was the fashion truck some idea that like I threw at you, or is that something that we? I don't. I don't remember. I don't know if that's. You had seen it online. Okay. You came across one online. It was very kind of early. This was about five years ago, so it was kind of early in the world of. Not early in the world of food trucks, but early in the world of fashion trucks. You saw one, you're like, hey, there's nothing like this in our area. We should totally do it. Got gotcha. you. And then we went from there. So Brooks Conkle, crazy ideas. As I yeah. always have, I have a list of like a thousand ideas. I tell people like not every idea makes it to the top. You know, not, not everything reaches the top. But every now and then you an idea. You always think I'm crazy at first. For it, sure. Which is, I've come to learn. This is, we've been married six years that is kind of like a standard thing. Like you, I, I've learned this about you. It's really interesting. You think every time I give you an idea, I mean, you may say it's a good idea, but a lot of times the best ideas you don't like, right? The ones that actually end up being good ideas, like whoa, we should totally pursue this. You don't like them at first, and I've learned that about you. I have to kind of like slowly, kind of keep, kind of pitching you and keep. And not selling you hard, but like just kind of yeah, just kind of keep keep. Yeah. Well, like well, what do you? Th but like what about this? And like but but what about this? like how would how could this work? And so I feel like that was one of those. Um, yes. The truck I think was a great idea. Like for that business, I, it was a lot of fun, right? Like so we drove over to Louisiana. We ended up buying a what was it a Mac Tools truck? Yeah. So it was an old. Um, they call them step vans or like you know bread trucks. You see those. So it was a Mac Tools truck. We bought it in Louisiana. I drove it back. I was terrified. Like, I'd never driven anything that big before, so it's pretty wild. Um, but drove it back. Literally renovated it just like we would have a home, right? Yes. So installed AC, installed interior lighting, gutted the whole thing, um, installed a dressing room, racks, all that stuff, flooring. right? Flooring, yeah, everything. The flooring, yeah, literally a boutique on wheels. And that was a cool project. And obviously, I was heavily involved in the renovation aspect. Um of that but not just the truck so okay so in the idea phase i kind of talked us into it and can we do it um you know fast forward obviously obviously we sold when we realized that like nights and weekends is the only time to operate the, that business right. after about a year right. we were like this is not like this is not good just for our like for our family for us like our right. goals what we want as a family like we wanted we wanted some time together right, right? like as a fam and so, you know, we, we made the decision to sell that. Um, but you involved me also in the buying process of your inventory for the yeah. most part, right? So, yeah, before we even had the truck. So we had a standalone retail space um, for the company. And so we had to purchase. And a lot of times I would purchase my clothing online but it was really fun for us to go to market together and brooks even being a guy 
has a great eye. And so he um, gave me yeses and noes on things that I should buy for the boutique. And he was on. He was kind of spot on with everything that he picked out. So that was a huge help. And you did, you kind of ran the numbers for us true, with that business. True. You did the, you were the financing end of that. True. I was, just, I guess I was a spreadsheet guy, right? Like I was yeah. a guy looking at the cost of, okay. I, I remember that every time we would like, we had this formula that we ran through. Yeah. I, I can't remember what it was, but for our products, um, I was like, I'm trying to remember what the question was. Okay, like, like, yeah, I would say yes. And so all the yeses we'd kind of have in a pile. And I just hold it up. But like, we'd say the cost. Like, cost, yeah. I say it was 15 bucks a piece. I'd be like, can we sell it for 45? Like, minimum. Right. right. And you would say yes or no. Right. If the answer was yes, then it would, it would make it. If the answer was no or we're not sure, it would go out. And if Mandy didn't have me there, I feel like for that aspect, you know, that, that additional question may, may or may not have gotten asked or figured out or whatever, but that's what we had to do to look at our margins, our margins to make sure that we were making enough margins so that if we had to event, which you did, you know, have sales, like <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to the retail industry, right? Right. Like when you have sales that you're not going, that you're, you know, that you're still going to be profitable when you mark, when you mark items down towards the end of the season and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so you were a huge help on, on that end. True. Yeah. I kind of rewind it back. I'm like, yeah, but then like at the store downtown, you handled all inventory, you know, I would help you down there physically to yeah. like load on um, load items in and stuff, but you would manage all that, like putting those items in spreadsheets when they needed those mm-hmm. items. You did that. Mm-hmm. You placed, I feel like online orders. Mm-hmm. I feel like you didn't ask me for that. You just yeah. sat down and spent hours you may reviewed yeah, yeah, you may we, have asked my opinion. We reviewed it, but yeah. Yeah, you asked my opinion on some stuff. And, yeah. You know, but like ultimately that was kind of your kind of your gig. It was like you placed those online orders um, because we, we found a few like trusted online vendors that we liked their their style and it kind of yeah. matched our, our brand. So, um, yeah, so I mean. Yeah, I ran the kind of day-to-day parts of it. Mm-hmm. And Brooks was more of the like big picture, financials, numbers, future of it. So... Yeah, I would agree with that. I would I would say as a partnership, like business partners and husband wife partnership, I I give it an A plus. Like personally, like I feel like we had a good experience. I can't rewind back remembering uh this is a bad idea or like I can't believe we got into this or man, you're not a good partner or I, I personally don't have any of those views or thoughts, um or no, memories. It, it was a great partnership. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So so star star rating on the Bottega collection. <laughs> um, so we'll move on. So we'll talk about one more business that we're currently involved in uh, called the Mobile Rundown, which is a local media company in our in our community in Mobile, Alabama. So no matter where you're listening, um, but it's I did not start that business with you, but we are now business partners. Right. Right. So I started the business with a friend of mine in our community. Uh, we began the business. His wife came on board to help us because we were a couple of guys that were kind of doing the side hustle gig. Um, she came on, was a huge help. And then at some point, I guess you started helping or something. And Anyways, we had discussions of buying them out. They were like, yeah, no, we're happy if y'all want to take it over or whatever. So for the right? first three years, I wouldn't say that it was a full-on business. For the first three years sure. of that business, it was more of a service to our city, just kind of a community service project for it getting True. out. So your partnership... We wanted it to be a business, yeah, but it, but, but it just wasn't. I right. Mean, you know, well, so. We were running... Bottega and we were running Forefront and yep. the partners that you had, they they had their own businesses, doctors and lawyers. And yep. so we um, we didn't have a lot of time to put towards it. And so it was kind of um, just kind of something that just got done every week. Mm-hmm. And then when we got married is when we bought them out and I okay. came on board. So, okay. So yeah. That makes sense. So that's when that's when it got that's when it got serious. That's when, when it, it got, got wild. Real. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. when it got wild. And so you came on board Okay, so that's close to six years we've been mm-hmm. like operating that, and but I would it was so for the last approximately two years is that right that we, you've kind of been like focused most Full of time. your energy yeah, yeah like you know ninety percent of your working energy is going towards the mobile rundown right, right. and so we've expanded into. Uh, we have a quarterly print magazine. We have another specialty magazine. Mm-hmm. We've now expanded into event production because, leave it to Brooks again, Brooks is like, hey, we're telling the community every week like what's going on. Here's cool stuff happening. Why don't we make cool stuff happen? Right. right? And, and we have a marketing arm that we can like 
expand that to people. We can produce our own fun, cool events for the right. community, for the city, have fun, you know, even make 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 money for our family. Um, and so that um, is really interesting. So I'll, get, I'll 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 segue. It's all related, but so that's led to a few other partnerships. So one of the big events that we're producing is called the King Cake Off, which is related to Mardi Gras, and you are my business partner in that, and we have right. two other business partners. Right. Um, and then another event that I have uh, a business partner with, but you are helping me tremendously, is called the Gulf Coast BizCon, which is like a, um, a, a seminar, a weekend event. Well, it's a day event for entrepreneurs, um, anyone that relates to the term of an entrepreneur. And so um, you helped me tremendously with that. So what is your like, how do you feel working with me at the Mobile Rundown and all this madness that I put us through here? I think it's great. I mean, I think that it's the same thing. Um, I, I kind of was thinking about it while you were talking. We have had a lot of businesses, and we have actually the same roles in those businesses. You are more focused on the future, the financials, the the bigger picture, and I am more like the day to day, make it happen, admin kind of things. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I think it's a great partnership the way that we work with that business as well. How do we, so this is really funny because we just, we literally had a meeting last night. Um, So we have two events that are coming up um, and we literally had a meeting. We dropped our son off to soccer practice Mm -hmm. and we we have it on our calendar. This is really funny. It's not weird for me, but people listen to this may be like, what? Yeah. Yeah. What? A meeting at seven o'clock at night from seven to eight thirty? Yeah. Or like what? Like what, what are you talking about? Um, but if you are in, if you're in business with your spouse, like you have to find time when you're together and you're, right. and you're also mentally prepared and good to like talk about an item. So we have two events coming up and we, we decided to the, every Monday evening we would discuss those right That's until, kind of our, yeah. until we get there. That's like our meeting time to talk and plan and have like action items or whatever, right. For those right. events. And that's happened, that's actually worked pretty well. Like last week, a week ago, um, when we dropped them off, we went over to the coffee shop and we we like nailed our meeting. I mean, we were just, just going at it like hardcore with the, I mean, stuff that we had to do. Um, it was crazy. Yeah, very productive. Yeah, like, re- like really productive. And so, um, yeah, I would say that that works really well for us. How, I mean, how do you... So here's a question that I thought of, and I'm like, I don't know if we ask each other this, but I think it's kind of important. Um, and I don't know the answer, but like, do we have a process for accountability? Like, you know, this is what you do. This is what I do. Um, are you getting it done? Am I getting it done? I think we both know, we see each other enough to know that we are both working on whatever it is Mm -hmm. like things are getting done things aren't not happening Mm -hmm. so i think we're both aware that the other person is pulling their weight or i think so too and you know what and like if one of us is like dude i am exhausted right i need a i need a nap or or whatever yeah i I feel like we're pretty gracious about being like take it like do it because you know you may be you may i may need a nap I may need a nap later and be down or sick. Both of us has been sick in the last couple of weeks yeah. in, our, in our in our family life, right? So it's like, I feel like we're pretty. We don't hold grudges for that kind of stuff. I feel like we're pretty open and get it. Like each of us, at the end of the day, we're both affected by the businesses, right? right? Like if the businesses do well, and this is whatever whatever effect that is, whether it's you know it's financial well, growth well, something you know it's our branding, you know whatever it is, it's it like it speaks to us. As, as business partners, it's kind of like on us. And so, right. you know, we want it to do well. And both of us are on, I know we're on the same page with right. that. And so we just know that each other is looking out for the team or for the brand or for the business or Absolutely. whatever. Um, and so I know it's important to both of us. So I feel like we do a good job there. Um, well, our entire life, our enti- like our days are work. Mm-hmm. You know, and so if we don't take those times and we don't, you know, take a rest or go for a walk or get in our exercise or do things for ourselves that we need to, you know, things kind of start slowly falling apart. So I think we both understand that as well. Yep. Yep. 
and having um having like an on off switch so like i made a made a note to talk about that so we're always on like we're always on kind of like what you just mentioned like because we're in business for ourselves there's no really like clocking out or like okay i'm leaving physically leaving work at five there's not that so like like you kind of like you were saying we have to be in control of that and so if something i know we've had this issue before if something pops up to my head and i get all excited yeah but it's like eight o'clock at night you know i'm like oh yeah what about that what about And, and sometimes you're just staring at me like dude like, and I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. And we kind of we kind of made that a we kind of talked about that and said that hey, if that happens, like just tell the other person, "Hey, not right, you know, not right, right. now. Let's like I'm, I want to talk about this, but let's put it aside. Right. You know, put it on a list and let's let's bring that back up. Let's talk about it later." And I feel like we I know we've we've done that a number of times in the yeah. last couple of years and I think it's been good. For the most part, you and I both are interested to talk about all the items because they're all important. Right. Um, but, yeah, there are times where we're like, hey, I want to turn it off. And we respect the other person's – I feel like we've done a good job at respecting the other person's opinion of like, okay, no problem. Right. I know. I, I can – yeah, let's let's yeah. talk about it later. Um, so what would you say? Like overall, should people, should people look at going into business with their spouse? I think that's a bigger question. Mm-hmm. I think you have to look at how you run, run your family, how you run your home. If you guys work well together and you divide labor well between whether it's kids or pets or whatever that you have, if you are able to balance those things mm-hmm. well, then yes, I would say that's great. I think that you, you could possibly work well with your spouse. But if those things are not in order, I would say maybe... Maybe work on that first before you try to, to jump into a, a business with your spouse because it all kind of works together. It's a personal opinion, but no, I think I I think I agree with you. I want to hear hear what your thoughts were there. I, I I totally agree. I'm I'm sitting here thinking, you know what? It's probably not for everybody, no. and it doesn't mean that you don't have an excellent relationship, an excellent marriage. You know, if you're married, it, it doesn't mean that that's not great. If being in business would be bad. Right. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, yeah, you don't have to, oh, you're great relational partners, therefore we'd be great business partners. Right. I, I think, yeah, I don't think that's necessarily a, a mix or a match. And for you and I, we talk about this actually as another as another kind of final item is that, hey, do we spend too much time together? Like we enjoy each right. other's company, but we wonder sometimes like, do we need a bit of a break? Right. And it's almost like healthy for us. Yeah. Like it's okay if we, do things separate and take some breaks because we talk about things a lot. We're right. with each other a lot, right? right? Not only in family, but with business. So yeah. we don't get that like work day where we're with other people, right. you know, talking about our families to other people. It's like we're talking about us to us, like all, right. like all day long, right? So, you know, I do think that's huge to keep, to keep in mind as well. I but agree. Yeah. My vote overall is I've appreciated being in business with you, and I if it if it, if that doesn't last forever, our relationship to me comes first over oh, over any of our business relationships or any businesses. But I have enjoyed it thus far. Yeah, it's been good, and I hope that we can continue to do so because I've really enjoyed it. So. Likewise, cool. I'll stay in business with you. Oh, yeah. too bad. All right, well, let's let these people go. Love you. Peace Bye. out. All right, see you guys. Bye.